the tide is turning to platform business. Platform businesses are playing chicken. If there's anything that could threaten the platform business, this could be it. I'm looking at the business that comes after the platform business. As you know, in 1999, I made an online mall called IamKorea.com. But I failed because I couldn't get a big investor. Almost at the same time, Amazon and Alibaba grew into gigantic companies. I didn't make it past Death Valley and had to go to a small studio rental. What did I think about for three years in that studio? Did I think about this platform business again? No way, I didn't. Because times always change. There will always be a day when this platform business will be crushed by the next generation of businesses. Then what is its weakness? With so many suppliers flooding the market, consumers are confused about what to choose. Also, having lots of suppliers doesn't mean lower prices. If you go to a portal to buy something, you can get confused about what to choose. Sometimes you also end up buying the wrong thing. So the next time you have to look around and struggle to find something that's better. There are these stressful problems. And if you bought the wrong 10%, then you've paid 10% more. If you buy the wrong 50%, now you've paid double. If you're creating a model that complements the weakness of the platform business that we have today, then this is without a doubt what will come after the platform business. I think it will be the post-platform business. While I was debating for three years, I saw the potential in network marketing. The platform is what allows every consumer and every supplier to meet. And that's what a platform is. But all of the consumers are gathered at the top of this platform and are like grains of sand. They're all stuck together right here. They're just like that, right? Are consumers systematized or not? They're really not. Network marketing is like the internet shopping mall business. Every time one person or two people come, they get systematized, right? You're also in here somewhere, right? This platform makes money. But do they make money too or not? They do. Would these people go that way or not? They won't. But could the grains of sand here go that way or not? They could. How is it when you go now to buy things on a platform? They don't really give anything, right? That's why you shop around here and there. But when you come to Atomy one time, it's cheaper and better. And they give a 35% commission. So would the person who came to Atomy one time go to another platform or not? They don't. Once they come, they stay. People who are there keep coming this way. And as time goes by, can the Atomy business, uh, can it grow bigger than the current platforms making 100 or 200 billion dollars? Can we or not? We can. It's only a matter of time. Just time. You're a part of that now. We're standing at the starting stage. Post-platform is the business of the future. The next step in business is just starting. When talking about the principle of network marketing, not only does it have the DNA to win against the platform business, there's no other network marketing company in the world 
that manages on principles the way that we do. Don't buy Atomy products if they're expensive or if you just don't like them. We have to cut those items out, then only the products that consumers really want are going to survive. But many network marketing companies say that you have to buy all of their products in order to test them and introduce them to others. Anyway, if I could really change the network marketing business down to textbook principles, we could solve many of the problems that platform businesses have now. I saw that possibility and I started Atomy. In a very difficult situation, seeing the potential to grow into a next generation business.